hi guys good evening so today I'm going to talk about a little bit about FTIR Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy so what actually what we can get from the FTIR <coughs> so from the FTIR spectra you can see the peaks present the peaks that have a fingerprint you can see that each peak each peak represent something it represent a fingerprint as you can see so the main purpose for FTIR is to know the functional group presence for each material for example let's look at the titanium dioxide the pink color as you can see for the titanium dioxide so we should know that the element present should have TiO2 and also when reported in general it should present the TiOTI so when we see around the 500, it belongs to the TIOTI, and around 900, it belongs to OTIO. So, when these peaks, two peaks exist, we can confirm that because FTIR Fourier Transform Infrared Spectroscopy is a confirmational study to confirm whether our material is deposited on our substrate or not. So, as you can see, when we look to other materials, such as graphene oxide, it should have the OH around the 3500. And the rest of the peaks, as you we can see from the journal or the database, because each peak have a fingerprint that already been tested. So, we can just run our sample using the FTIR, and what we can do is, we can compare if when we run our sample, the peaks present, and when we confirm or refer with the journal, it is the same, so we can say that our material is successfully deposited. So the main thing is all about FTIR is to know the functional group presence or not. It's very easy, yet tricky. If sometimes you have a problem in sample preparation, the peak might be overlap or the peak might be hidden so maybe you can repeat the analysis but if you prepare your sample very carefully and you confirm that your peaks have the peaks that should be present and the chances for your FTIR to be successful is very high thank you